All right, guys, on today's video, I'm going to be showing you how you install the SMS Plus GX emulator on the Nintendo Wii. Now, this is going to be an emulator for the Sega Master System. And you're also going to be able to play the Sega Game Gear games as well. So I've created a folder with all the files that you're going to need. So just head over to my page. Scroll down until you find the wallpaper of this video. Uh, go up to the download link. There's going to be a zip folder. You're going to have to unzip it using 7-Zip or WinRAR. And now for the files that are going to be included. So first you're going to have the apps folder. So this is going to have the emulator. SMS Plus. I'm also going to be providing you Wiimot Lite if you want to install the channel. Uh, there's going to be an SMS Plus folder with a ROMs folder. This is where you place your ROMs in the .SMS format. And then I've created the WADs. So the VW WAD, this is for the Virtual Console on the Wii U. And then this is going to be the standard Wii WAD. So both methods are going to be the exact same when you're installing it on both systems. So that is basically it for the setup of the SD card. Now we're going to get on the Nintendo Wii. I'll show you how to install the uh, channel forwarder and a little bit of the emulator. All right, now we're on the Wii. So first thing we're going to do is install the watch channel. So we'll go over to the homebrew channel. Start it up. Uh, go over to Wiimot Lite, load it up. Uh, go down to the WAD Manager, press A, press A on the WSD slot. Uh, go down to your WADs folder. Uh, so there's the SMS Plus GX WAD. Um, if you're installing it on the Wii U, it's going to be the same process. Just make sure you're installing the VW WAD. So uh, press A on the WAD. Uh, press A to install. This shouldn't take too long. Uh, pressing the key to continue. Press B. Press B again. And then press Home. This should take you back to the uh, Homebrew channel. And now press home again, exit the system menu. Now you should have the SMS plus GX uh, channel forwarder. So there it is. So let's load it up. Start. So this is going to be a very simple emulator. So to load your ROMs, uh, just go down to load new game, press 2. Now if you're loading it from the SD card, go down to the SD. You can also load this from the USB stick. So load from SD, press 2. So here's my games. I'm just going to show you uh, that they're going to load properly. So first, we're going to load up uh, Sonic the Hedgehog, press 2, and it should uh, start right away. Uh, I've turned down the volume because of copyright. So your start button is going to be the number 2 button on your Wii Remote. So you shouldn't be having any issues at all with any of the games. They should basically uh, play the whole library. So 
So now to load another game, just press the uh, home button. Now same thing, load new game, press 2 from SD. Uh, we're going to load Shinobi, so press 2, and it should start right up. So it plays very smoothly, no issues at all. So let's hit the home button again. We're going to load up a new game from SD. Uh, so one more game, we're going to do a Battle Outrun. And it should start up right away. So a very simple emulator that will run uh, all the Sega Master System games with no issues by using the Wii Remote. So this is exactly the same process when you're doing it on the Wii U, on the VWii side. Home button. Return to loader, and that should take you back to the main menu. Um, I'm going to leave all the links you're going to need in the uh, pinned comment. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and on to the next one.